Are you ready for the future that has already arrived? The new humanoid female robots from the US and Japan are so realistic that they even scare those who are used to technology. Their skin looks alive. They move, blink, smile, and can even hold a conversation. Is this a brilliant breakthrough or the first step toward robots replacing humans? Who are these perfect digital ladies and how have they shocked the world? Spoiler, artificial intelligence, autonomous movements, and a level of realism that sends shivers down your spine. Watch until the end. It's going to be interesting. Humanoid female robots are so detailed that it seems as if they are about to adjust a strand of hair or blink with a slight air of contemplation. Their skin, mimicking human pores and body warmth, along with their smooth movements free of the usual robotic jerkiness, is the result of years of development. Experts predict that in the near future, these cyber ladies will not only be able to hold a conversation, but also display empathy responding to tone of voice and facial expressions. Built-in self-learning systems, cloud-based intelligence, next-generation vocal cords that perfectly sync with emotions, all of this makes them eerily realistic. Is this already a scene from a science fiction movie where robots are indistinguishable from humans? The Japanese have once again proven that if you're going to make robots, you should do it at the highest level. Fukata Emi is not just a technological marvel, she's an almost living illusion. Her soft yet durable skin, made of platinum-grade medical silicone, feels nearly real to the touch. An internal frame of ultra-strong alloy makes them both flexible and stable. And then there's that gaze, moving glass eyes that follow you as if they belong to a living person. Add individually implanted hair strands. So, how do you feel about a future where anyone can get their own robotic duplicate? The Open Museum of the Future is already producing 100 to 300 such cyber ladies per year and they are not just beautiful mannequins with intelligent eyes. These robots can analyze speech, facial expressions, and even adapt to a conversation partner's emotions, creating the illusion of real interaction. But the most astonishing part? They can be made as an exact copy of any person. Want a cyber double of your favorite actress at home? Or perhaps your own robotic clone? Welcome to an era where the line between humans and machines is blurring. And the question, who are you, is no longer so straightforward. Now imagine this, morning comes, you wake up and your robotic assistant has already made coffee, picked out your outfit based on the weather, and even subtly reminded you that it's time to stop procrastinating. No fatigue, no bad moods, no cryptic nothing in response to what's wrong. Just pure functionality and an always friendly voice. Sounds like the perfect scenario. But here's the question. Will life become too predictable? After all, the magic of human interaction lies in spontaneous emotions, unexpected reactions, and the spark in a real gaze. While robots are learning to mimic our facial expressions and speech patterns, they still lack the most important element, chaos and unpredictability, the very things that make humans unique. Jordan Wolfson once again plays on the edge of art and technological madness. His female figure is not just a sculpture, but a true animatronic hypnosis. She dances, makes direct eye contact, and moves as if she knows she's being watched. And that's terrifying. Wolfson deliberately creates a dissonance. On one hand, hyper-realism, and on the other, the cold mechanics of movement that reveal her artificial nature. The line between art and eerie futuristic prophecy is blurred, and suddenly, the viewer is no longer just an observer, but a participant in a strange dialogue with a machine, one that has no soul, yet an unsettling semblance of a personality. Well, friends, get ready to welcome another technological step toward a world where reality and artificial intelligence intertwine. 
a Matsuka Mo. This cyber lady is so realistic that in dim light, she could easily be mistaken for a living person. A highly detailed head, premium silicone skin, with a flawless texture, even pores and a slight sheen, are recreated with millimeter precision. But the most fascinating part is her built-in communication mechanism. Mo doesn't just move her lips, she reacts to questions, constructs sentences, and even adjusts her intonation. Of course, she still can't replace a real woman. Come on, admit it. Who wouldn't want such a cyber queen at home? A female robot in an Egyptian outfit, with skin so realistic that it's hard to resist reaching out to check if she's truly inanimate. The secret? Ultra-modern silicone that mimics the natural texture and warmth of human skin. But the real highlight is her internal frame, strong yet flexible, allowing her to strike any pose as if she were not a machine, but a professional model. The perfect subject for photo shoots. An artificial ideal, but where are the limits? If today she's just posing, what happens tomorrow? Honestly, if I saw her in a crowd, my brain would freeze for a second, struggling to figure out, is this a human or a masterpiece of engineering? Aria is the flagship companion robot from Real Btix. And friends, this is no longer just a piece of plastic with a voice assistant. She holds conversations, analyzes emotions, and responds with intonation. And that's more unsettling than impressive. Because if a machine can joke, understand moods, and even create the illusion of real interaction. Where exactly is the line between artificial intelligence and an actual personality? And I'm not even mentioning how incredibly realistic she looks. Are we in a science fiction movie? No, this is the real life embodiment of a dream, an ultra realistic elven woman. Well, Technically, a robot, but try telling the difference. This is no ordinary doll. It's a high-tech humanoid with 30 micromotors ensuring smooth, natural movements. The skin? The detailing is so flawless that it creates the illusion of a living being. But the real highlight? Those elven ears. Delicate, elegant, as if taken straight from a fantasy world. It turns out that technology has moved beyond imitating humans. It's now bringing to life creatures that never existed in reality. Oh, come on, friends. Nothing supernatural here. Just take a mechanical robot, put on a human face, and suddenly it's no longer a pile of metal, but an almost living being. The boundaries between human and machine are dissolving. Realistic gestures, facial expressions, a gaze that seems to truly see you. Is it fascinating or eerie? Or both at the same time? Technology is no longer just copying appearances. It's approaching the very essence of communication. And if today robots still surprise us, tomorrow, their presence in society will be the norm. The real question isn't when this will happen. Engineers from the Japanese company Kokoro, in collaboration with Osaka University, have unveiled a masterpiece of robotics, Actroid Deer 3, a hyper-realistic humanoid android that astonishes with its human-like resemblance. This is no longer just a mechanism with pre-programmed movements. It's a technological breakthrough. Detailed facial expressions, body language, gestures, intonation, and the ability to hold a conversation, all embodied in the image of a young Japanese woman. Can she really be called inanimate when she reacts, smiles, and slightly tilts her head in response to a question? Something tells us that as technology advances, drawing the line between the living and the created will become increasingly difficult. The Japanese company Feudal, known for its expertise in creating hyper-realistic androids, has introduced Veni, a 5-foot, 160-centimeters, humanoid female robot, 
whose hypoallergenic silicone skin is so natural looking that it appears alive. Lightness, flexibility, and meticulously detailed facial expressions make her not just a copy of a human, but something more. The key feature? Personalization. From facial features to unique behavior, everything can be customized even her voice and manner of communication. Futurists are already speculating whether Venny will become the next big thing in social interaction. And now, things are getting even more interesting. DS Doll is not just creating realistic humanoids, it's preparing to mass produce them. In other words, they are developing not just beautiful dolls with artificial skin, but fully mechanical personalities capable of independent movement, reaction, and possibly even conversation. Looking at the first prototypes, one thing is clear. DS Doll isn't just experimenting, they are building an entire industry. One of their robots is already connected to a system and monitored by developers in real time. The same company, DS Doll, has unveiled a truly impressive humanoid woman who could rival real-life models. Standing at 5.5 feet, 168 centimeters, with perfect proportions, premium silicone skin, and a metal frame with articulated joints, she doesn't just stand still. She moves, takes on various poses, and looks stunningly realistic. The magic is in the details. The face is hand-painted, the eyes look alive, and the hair can be customized in any way. But the best part? Full personalization for the owner. Want unique features, a special voice, or a distinctive style of movement? No problem. Imagine a world where robots not only mimic humans, but also follow their cultural codes. Sarah is the first humanoid woman in history strictly programmed to adhere to the traditions of Saudi Arabia. She does not argue, does not break etiquette, behaves modestly and respectfully, yet she can still hold a conversation. Developers have integrated a neural network that transforms text into lifelike speech. And you know what's particularly fascinating? If today a robot can be trained in the norms of one country, then as soon as tomorrow, it might be able to switch between cultures adapting seamlessly to any conversation partner. The future is here, and it's straight out of an anime. Hatsuki is not just a robot, it's a walking artifact of Japanese pop culture. Standing at 4.7 feet tall, it combines mechatronics with 2D animation, bringing emotions to life right before your eyes. Projection technology allows it to display a wide range of expressions in real time, just like a character from your favorite anime. Designed for festivals, exhibitions, and possibly future interactions with humans, Hotsky raises an important question. Will such robots become full-fledged digital companions? Just imagine, you come home and you're greeted not just by a robot, but by a lady with a sense of humor, the ability to hold a conversation, and even mimic your facial expressions. Yes, as you can see for yourself, real boutiques is no longer science fiction. It's reality. Want her to crack a joke? No problem. Wi-Fi connectivity, Bluetooth, smartphone control, everything is at your fingertips. But here's the real question. What if, in the future, these robots become not just our friends, but something even closer? Let's take a trip to the 2024 World Robotics Conference. The crowd falls silent, all eyes fixed on an elegant woman in a stylish white suit. Her bob haircut is perfectly styled, her movements are fluid, and her voice is confident with precise intonations. She gestures while talking to visitors. And suddenly, you catch yourself thinking, wait a second, is this really a robot? But how can you believe it when her mannerisms, gestures, and even facial expressions are so natural, to be honest? 
Not every human could remain this calm and composed in such a high-pressure moment. Now, let's take a look at the updated version of the humanoid robot Amecha by Engineered Arts. Let me tell you, this one instantly grabbed everyone's attention. Its facial expressions are so lifelike that you might feel like you're talking to an actual person rather than a machine. And it's not just about the precise movements. Amecha can express a wide range of human emotions. From genuine surprise to a sarcastic smirk, Advanced AI? Absolutely. This robot doesn't just answer questions. It can pick up a topic, expand a discussion, and even argue with you. And who's this eccentric lady here? Oh, it's none other than the Tetsuko Kuroyanagi robot. In Japan, this legendary TV host and writer is beloved, and now she has a personalized robotic replica. E-Android. But this isn't just another humanoid. It's a true celebrity double that's already making appearances on television and even interviewing famous people. Her mannerisms, voice, and style have been replicated down to the finest details. What's next? Will we start creating digital copies of all famous figures? Or maybe even of ourselves? Have you also noticed that Japan is getting dangerously close to creating the perfect digital woman? The level of realism is off the charts, and soon, distinguishing a robot from a human might be harder than finding a free seat on the Tokyo subway. And if today she's just lying still, who knows? Maybe in a few years, these beauties will completely replace real women.